All right, aviation fans, let's settle the debate. Boeing 787-10 versus 787-9. What's the real difference? Both are part of the Dreamliner family, known for their fuel efficiency and quiet cabins. But the 787-10 is the big sibling. It's about 18 feet longer than the 787-9, which means more seats. Think up to 40 extra passengers depending on the airline's layout. So if you're flying a busy route, chances are you'll find the 787-10 stretching its legs. But here's the trade-off range. The 787-9 can fly further, roughly 7,530 nautical miles, while the 787-10 tops out at about 6,330 nautical miles. That's a difference of nearly 1,200 miles, so airlines pick the 787-9 for those ultra-long flights, think New York to Tokyo. Performance-wise, both use the same engines and offer a similar smooth ride. Cockpit, technology, passenger experience, it's all pretty much identical. The real changes come down to capacity and route strategy. So, next time you spot a Dreamliner at the gate, here's the cheat sheet. More seats and shorter routes, it's likely the 787-10, longer haul and fewer passengers, that's the 787-9. In the end, both jets are game changers, but the right one depends on where you're headed and how many friends you're bringing. That's the quick lowdown. If you love these kinds of breakdowns, stick around for more.